All right, yesterday we went over a massive Deadpool and Wolverine leak, and today we are going over part two, and we're about to get into some pretty big spoilers. You probably know that if you clicked on the video, but this is your final spoiler warning. We are diving into it right now. Now, now there are a few scenes that we didn't talk about in yesterday's video. There's also some really funny jokes, but most importantly, there is an Avengers scene. And no, not the scenes where Deadpool is looking at all of the TV cameras. Yes, that is in the movie, of course. But this scene actually involves Deadpool time traveling. However, there's a bit of a twist to this one. This is at the very beginning of the film before the TVA picks up Deadpool. This is actually Deadpool using Cable's time travel device to visit the Avengers. Now, this is really, really interesting because this seemingly implies that the Avengers existed in Deadpool's universe. We already know that Logan, the movie that took place in 2017, that did also exist in Deadpool's universe. But now it looks like the Avengers might exist in that universe as well. This will be really interesting because the X-Men don't exist in our universe. But if the Avengers existed in the X-Men universe, then that'll definitely be something that Deadpool addresses. In fact, we have heard Heard that Deadpool and Wolverine is going to very much address the fact that the MCU, the sacred timeline, does not have the X-Men in it. But here is what the official leak says. Again, this is coming from IGN, who saw the first 35 minutes of the film and somehow got permission to actually leak this online. They got permission to reveal what they saw, which is insane. But they say... An early scene sees Deadpool use Cable's time travel watch, remember that gizmo from Deadpool 2, to travel back to circa 2018 and visit the Avengers campus. He asks to join the team, an act he hopes will make him a someone and impress his estranged girlfriend, Vanessa. And remember, we have learned that Vanessa and Wade, they're not together anymore for whatever reason in Deadpool and Wolverine. In the beginning, at his birthday party, she is there and apparently his boyfriend is going to be there as well. Or at least they're going to talk about him because all they've revealed about her boyfriend so far is that he likes hiking. That's about it. But that's pretty much what estranged girlfriend means. Obviously, Deadpool is still in love with her and he wants to get her back. So he goes and he tries to become an Avenger. Goes back in time hoping to change the future, which we'll have to see how the time travel rules work in Deadpool and Wolverine. Hopefully they explain everything pretty clearly, but they continue to state his request is declined because becoming an Avenger is about public service rather than than personal gain. Now there is a bit more to the scene which we're about to talk about, but I do want to address the fact that he goes back to 2018. That could be after Thanos' snap, but it can't be Avengers Endgame because of the five year time jump forward. That doesn't mean that at some point in time in this movie, Deadpool and Wolverine are time traveling, multiverse traveling, whatever you want to call it, whatever the mechanics are, it doesn't mean that they can't go to that scene in the future. But in the beginning, it seems pretty clear that they are not going back to the events of Avengers Endgame, but more along the lines of Avengers Infinity War. Now, of course, it could be before as well. However, we also know that whether it's before or after Infinity War, it is after Civil War. So the Avengers aren't exactly going to be a full team at that point in time. In fact, we know that Captain America is on the run, Black Widow's on the run, Falcon, the Scarlet Witch, basically Team Cap is not there. So it is possible that he could be talking to Iron Man here. The leak doesn't specifically say who he talks to. It simply says he travels back to circa 2018 and visits the Avengers campus and asks to join the team. And then his request is declined, but he is going to be there at the Avengers campus. So this could be a pretty big cameo opportunity. Possibly, but we do know of one person that is going to be there and talk to Deadpool. It says so in this leak, and it's Happy Hogan. Not much info is really given about the scene. They don't give a ton of info, but they do say during Deadpool's trip to the Avengers campus, he meets with Happy Hogan, played once again by John Favreau. So this could mean that he just meets with Happy, or Happy is one of the people that he sees at the Avengers campus. I'm not sure if Happy is the person in charge who could say yes or no to somebody being an Avenger, and you would think that Deadpool would know to talk to not only Iron Man and Tony Stark, but also Robert Downey Jr. because he can break the fourth wall. However, I want to lean towards Iron Man not showing up. That is a huge cameo to bring back and I think they're going to save that for something 
much, much bigger. Maybe at the end of Deadpool and Wolverine, maybe in the post credit scene, or maybe for Avengers Secret Wars. We have heard that Ryan Reynolds did want Robert Downey Jr. in Deadpool and Wolverine, but for whatever reason, it didn't happen to work out. But that could just be a false rumor spread to make us believe that he's not going to be in the film. But again, at the same time, I would imagine it's going to be a pretty big moment when we see a variant of Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man, so I'm not expecting him in this particular scene, maybe some other Avengers. Now, there are a few more scenes that I want to talk about, but first, let's address the fact that the Avengers seem to exist in the Fox X-Men universe, which is officially labeled in the movie 10,005. Deadpool is in this universe, the Fox X-Men are in this universe, and the events that happened in Logan took place in this universe as well. They confirmed this in the same week. We talked about this yesterday. You can go check out that video after if you haven't seen it already but it also does appear that the avengers exist in this as well since deadpool is using the time travel device that cable had that device is simply a time travel device as far as we know that can't multiverse travel and not many things can actually multiverse travel universe hop in the mcu i mean the scarlet witch even had to dreamwalk or try to get america chavez to actually be able to jump between universes it's not an easy feat so time travel and multiverse travel are completely different things. And Deadpool only has a time travel device, so that seemingly does confirm the Avengers do exist in that Fox X-Men universe as well. And that's a big deal. And that also does explain, beyond Deadpool being able to break the fourth wall, how he knows about the Avengers when he goes to the TVA and he sees them all on the TVs. It also explains a scene that we heard about before and that this leak does mention as well. Paradox shows Deadpool a scene from the future with him and Thor, where Thor is standing over his dead body. That seems to be the future of a very similar timeline, or perhaps even that exact timeline where Deadpool is from, where he finally does fight with the Avengers and ultimately ends up dying or gets close to dying because we know that he can't really die. But it's a pretty big deal that the Avengers existed in his universe and hopefully they talk a lot about how the X-Men don't exist and the Avengers main sacred timeline. We haven't heard anything about it yet, but insiders say they definitely address that in the movie. Now, yesterday we talked about how Deadpool goes to a bunch of different universes and looks at a bunch of different variants of Wolverine until he finds the Wolverine he wants to bring back to the TVA. And when introducing this new drunken Wolverine to the new timeline, Deadpool says, Welcome to the MCU. You're joining at a bit of a low point. And they say that there's great gags that directly address the ongoing fan conversations about the quality of Marvel movies post Avengers Endgame. In fact, Deadpool variants get in on this action as well. They did show a new trailer after they showed the new footage. And in that footage, Deadpool makes a joke about things have been miss after miss since the multiverse stuff kicked off for the MCU. But then there is a Deadpool variant, possibly maybe Lady Deadpool, possibly his wife, who says, I think it's been steadily great since Endgame. And I think this is pretty much the actual fan conversations that are going down right now. There are a lot of fans out there who have still loved everything since Avengers Endgame, and that is fantastic. But then there are those who haven't really enjoyed much of it, in which I totally understand. But I do think it's hilarious that they are simply addressing this with their fourth wall breaking. And we can assume that Deadpool's variants could also break the fourth wall, which is why they're all able to talk about this. And the last thing I want to talk about is something that I talked about not too long ago, but this leak confirms. It says, after Deadpool discovers Logan's remains, this is him visiting the spot where Logan died because he doesn't believe that it's even possible for Wolverine to die since he can regenerate. So he goes to the spot where he died and nothing is there but his remains. Then it says a TVA squad turns up to arrest him and bring him back to Agent Paradox, but refusing to submit Deadpool massacres the entire team using Wolverine's adamantium skeleton as weapons. And they state that his leg is wielded like nunchucks at one point and his ribs used as throwing knives. And to top it all off, the whole fight is choreographed to Bye 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 by NSYNC. This movie is going to go so hard in so many different directions. It's going to be, well, one, it's going to be gory. Two, it's going to be absolutely hilarious. But three, we've also heard that it is still going to be a very deep movie. There's a lot of emotion in Deadpool and Wolverine. It's not just surface level stuff. It's not just fan service. Everything has a specific purpose. And while we're going to laugh probably the entire movie, there are going to be some deep moments. So let me know if this gets you even more excited about Deadpool and Wolverine in the comments down below. I know it does for me. This all sounds amazing. Can't wait to see it and can't wait to see what the other three fourths of the movie are going to be about. So be sure to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our other Deadpool and Wolverine videos and of course other 
other Marvel videos as well. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.